Man, there we go. What's up, guys? You know who it is. Sunday morning. Ah, remember, yesterday was my cheat day, so don't judge me. <laughs> don't judge me, man. So, quick 10 real quick. Get on this scale. Hold on, let me flip this around. There it is. 218. Point zero. Yeah. All right. So now, two eighteen point zero was the weight. All right. So from two twenty one to two twenty to two nineteen to two eighteen. So I will. I'm going to do cardio today. So after I come back from cardio, I should be 217. All right. Um, so today, today I'm going to lift. So I'm going to eat, you know, within my macro friendly diet and everything. So um, and I will throughout the day, you know, it's kind of rainy. So I don't know. I'll take you all with me and see what uh. You know, that way you can see what I eat and, um, you know, the food choices that I make. <laughs> All right. Um, so anyway, but yeah, yesterday I did have a cheat day, uh, but I didn't pig out. All right. I wanted to. Whew, man, that's the thing. You got to resist pigging out, man. And that's it's hard to do. Well, it's not hard to do. It's, it's I take that back. It's not hard to do. All right. But. When you are, when you're fasting, sometimes your eyes get bigger than your stomach and you get full. So I, I ate a lot, but it was within my macros. You know what I'm saying? I ate, well, I'm sorry. I ate very fulfilling food. <laughs> but I stayed within my macros. I, I know I went a little bit over, so I figured I was going to wait more. But, you know, with my metabolism, metabolism kicking in. And my body just absorbing all the nutrients from the food. I'll tell you what I ate. Okay. Yesterday I ate a Kenny's fat burger and some fries. But I didn't put I didn't have any cheese on it. Um, you know, I had the pickles and the lettuce. Um, I used very little ketchup, uh, very little uh mustard, you know, not a lot of condiments and stuff like that. Not a lot of salt because salt will, you know, you retain water a little bit. And when you're trying to lose weight, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to retain water. But so I had that yesterday uh, and fries, you know, but that's all I ate. So I stayed within my, uh, you know, my my eating window. Uh, so within that window, I think I had a four hour window, five hour window yesterday. So I ate a burger and fries from Kenny's Fat Burger. Well, Kenny's Burger Joint. Um, and I ate, I had um, sweet tea. And I had some chips later on. And I had a uh, uh, Mexican Coke. So, you know, Mexican Coke is made with pure sugar cane. So, um so I definitely, I, I did not stay within my macros. <laughs> I definitely did not stay within my macros, but you know, um, but that's all I ate. I didn't eat anything else. So, so that's it guys. I still had to wear purple rain, purple rain. Purple rain, purple rain, purple rain, purple rain, purple rain. I'm telling you, man, you want your mind. Listen, I'm telling you, meditate. I, I listen. This here's here's a here's a secret. All right, y'all family. So I'm gonna drop something on you real quick, okay? 
you want to take your mind to uh to a different level meditate do a meditation right with prince playing low you know what i'm saying put your put your put your volume on low like maybe five okay if you're using your phone you know what i'm saying put it on five just put it on five not too loud you know just low that way you, well where you can barely hear it just a little over barely being able to hear it inside the headphones put that in oh my good i'm like and meditate off of that like your mind is just gonna be like off some purple rain i'm telling you man meditate off some purple rain and let me know how that turned out man anyway let me know let me know in the comments email me uh dsd with us at gmail.com and let me know if you did not take it to the next level all right by 10 minutes before you go work out put that put that press in get them headphones going hey and get you and get your mind right i'm telling you it'll hey it'll take you to another level i'm telling you any damn way so i decided to um go to the gym before i do my cardio this morning all right so uh i was gonna go later on this I, later on today but i said you know what I'm going to go ahead and get it in now. That way I can chill later on. You know, Sunday, I'm just going to lay around. Um, so, yeah, that's it, man. I'm going to go get my workout in. I'm a, I got back in bias today. All right. Keep in mind, I'm on an empty stomach, so my weights are not going to be heavy, heavy. Um, man, these folks is driving crazy. I'm going to have to pull into the dirt. I need to hurry up and get out. That's what I need to do. <laughs> Bice, um, uh, back and bicep. So I'm going to, you know, take y'all through the workout. You know what I'm saying? So you can see a little bit of what I do in the gym. All right. So pay attention. Pay attention. If you are, if you have blood sugar issues, all right, you may not want to work out on an empty stomach because, you know, um, some things could happen. Now, I don't want you to get dizzy. I don't want your blood sugar to drop too low or any of that. Okay. So, uh, pay oh, shoot. So, uh, so pay attention to your body. Okay. If your body's telling you, oh, no, I can't do this on an empty stomach, don't do it. All right. All right. Um, I'll see y'all in a little bit. What's up, guys? welcome to my back and bicep workout so i started with some uh lat pull downs right four sets of 12. um i started 85 then i worked my way up to like 100 105 especially when i haven't been working out in a while so make sure you do at least four to five sets uh i'll put exactly what i did down in the description if you want to get it in baby Okay, so moved into uh, barbell curls, right? So I basically hogged up the, the squat rack <laughs> and got my curls in. So uh, again, like I said, it was lightweight, 10 pounds on each side, bar weighs 45. So about 65 pounds I'm curling there. So, you know, not too heavy at all. So yeah, I'm just haven't been haven't been in the gym in a while. So it's been a probably about a good month, maybe a month, month and a half. And then I kicked it off with some uh, seated rows again. Four, I think I did four sets of twelve on that too. So back nice and straight. You know, pull back, get you a little squeeze. Let it go. Bam. Already. Look at that beast. Look at that beast. Okay, so isolated dumbbell curls. That's what I rolled into next. And with these, I do about uh, four sets. And I do counts of uh, 16 to 20. I'll do eight. Uh, reps each arm or, or 10 reps each arm 
and this one I did uh, two sets of eight and two sets of ten so I'll make sure I'll put that in the description as well so you see I got my hammer curl action going bow bow already so then I want to hit the upper back so get those traps going uh, so I had a nice thick upper back going yeah so I did about I think I did four sets of ten no four sets of six in this one because I started out pretty heavy and I had to finish light <laughs> so um, and here oh this is where I did my reverse curl so this is where you get that little uh, you get that little meat on your form right there see that see that little meat on that form right there doing the reverse curls BAM loving it yeah so after that I just roll right into cardio thanks for watching guys my back and buys workout what's up guys you know who it is Marcus with another episode of rise and grind baby ah! <laughs> listen hey I'm gonna jump right into it all right so this morning I did my go live right just came from the gym so uh, you know this is my lift day so usually on my lift days when I'm dropping weight uh, I will I will eat regularly but I think I'm still maintaining the fast and uh, so I worked out on the empty stomach and I'm now I'm doing my my little cardio on the empty stomach so I'm gonna walk I'm gonna walk probably half the mile and I'll probably run the other half of the mile but real quick I just want to talk about intermittent fasting all right so we already know that fasting is a uh, you know basically not eating for a certain amount of time all right and we know when we eat we break the fast and we eat between four and eight hour windows right so it's windy out here so I'm gonna try to make it quick so if you eat if you wake up let's say you go to bed at 10 o'clock at night right get up in the morning at 10 o'clock you've already fasted 12 hours all right you know just for example all right hell I wish I could sleep 12 hours a day that would be awesome <laughs> but um, so you sleep uh, you know once you wake up you've already fasted in you've already fasted 10 hours you know what I'm saying 12 hours almost you know depending on what time you get up and that's the beauty of it right that's the beauty of it you know and you don't you don't have to do um, you know 20 hour fast right out the gate you know because a lot of people want to start off with a four hour window that's hard to maintain if you don't give your body a chance to adjust to it okay so give your body a chance to adjust start with the eight hour window okay so that means you're gonna fast for 16 hours but when you eat your breakfast if you eat breakfast go ahead and eat your breakfast if you eat lunch go ahead and eat your lunch if you eat dinner go ahead and eat your dinner all right get your three meals out of the way after that don't eat anything else until the following morning you know after your exercise now for those of you who your schedule is a little bit different this is what I would do okay four hours before I work out don't eat anything okay four hours if you wanna you know if you want to take advantage of going into the fat burning state you know while you work out okay why you do your cardio or whatever that's what I would do I would I get about even four to six hours four to six hours before I worked out before I went to go work out I would stop eating so let's say for example 
you got lunch at 12 o'clock, right? So you got one, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock. All right, you got five hours. You eat lunch, 12 o'clock. You got a five hour break. So it, let's take you an hour to get home, you know, change clothes, go work out or whatever. That's six hours right there. Okay, so that's it. Just cut off your, um, your eating time at 12 o'clock. Go work out. You see what I'm saying? By seven o'clock, you got your five, six hours, you know, a fasted time. Okay, and you can still take advantage of being in a fat burning state when uh you know with that four to six hour window of um, of not eating before you work out. Okay, so because I know a couple of people made comments saying that their schedule won't allow them to eat, you know, to uh, to do fasted cardio in the morning. Well, you can do fasted cardio in the evening as well. So you just gotta switch up your the times that you eat so let's say you get up in the morning all right you let's say let's say you work out in the morning and when you work out in the morning just don't eat anything all right you can still your body's still going to go into a fat burning state all right so don't feel like oh well i can't take advantage of the you know fasted cardio or intermittent fasting if uh, I work out in the morning time, or I work out too early. Don't worry about that. Just get up in the morning and work out on an empty stomach, okay? Um, make sure, hey, make sure you check with your doctor, all right? Don't be trying to say Marcus killed me, all right? Don't, don't go to the doctor talking about Marcus killed me and uh, I'm just not living anymore. No, we're not doing that, all right? Consult your doctor before you enter into any exercise program. You know, we always have to have that disclaimer, all right? Anytime, anytime you start an exercise program or you change up something that's dealing with your medications and all that kind of stuff, check with your doctor, all right? Because Marcus is not a doctor, okay? Marcus is not a doctor. So don't, uh, <laughs> no. No, Dr. Marcus said no, all right? so. Anyway, I'm finna finish this walk. Listen to some self-development while I'm rolling. This is self-development right here. I like it. All right, I'll be back with y'all in just a little bit. Peace. Stay tuned because I'm about to have my first meal. <laughs> okay, people. Back from the workout. Getting it in real quick. Let's do a quick weigh in. After the workout, sometimes you may tend to gain a pound or two after your workout. So let me see. Just because you got a little bit of fluid build up. And I was drinking some water and everything. So I might, I may, I probably gained a pound. Oh, I didn't. 217.9 BAM already so 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 you see I just barely hit 217.9 uh, that's probably well more than likely that's from doing weights so I went uh, I think I went a little bit heavier than what I usually go on my pull downs. Uh, so, you know, that's probably why I, it wasn't a full 217, you know, flat. Well, it wasn't a flat 217. But anyway, 217. So, like I said, I'm gonna eat today. Uh, and I'll show y'all what I ate, but I'm gonna hop in the shower real quick. I just wanted to show y'all my weight right after the workout. Uh, you know, just so you can kind of get a feel, get a good idea on how you should judge or how you should, what to, what to look for basically, all right? Be back with y'all in a minute. All right, so I'm about to have my first meal. Put that right there, see if it'll stay. There we go. Get my, get my waffles out the oven. 
Got me a little Cajun. If you ain't never had Cajun waffles before. <laughs> Ooh, one of them got a little Cajun on it. A little burnt, if you will. So anyway, let y'all see my meal right quick. What I'm eating. So I got some waffles. I got some eggs with a little bit of onion in there. Some turkey bacon, some uh, leftover rotisserie chicken, some blueberries, and some bananas. Sliced bananas and everything. You know, that way you get your fats and your sugars and everything all balanced. The only thing I'm really missing is greens. But I'm going to eat a, probably eat a salad or eat my bowl of greens later on. You know, just to give my liver uh, a little boost, you know. To digest some of this protein. Um, so yeah, let me. So yeah, that's what I'm eating on real quick. And I'm about to fix me some coffee real fast. Go get my uh some college. Alright. Give him a little coffee going. Bam. Got my little Mr. Coffee coffee maker. Bam. You see that? Y'all see that? Little love and gratitude off in there. That's a secret. Hooking y'all up with some good stuff. Keep that going. It don't take a lot. This Folgers, whoo, is no joke. It don't take a lot at all. You mess around and be up messing with Folgers for the next four days. Um, yeah, Folgers don't play no games, man. They, them jokers will have you up all day if you let them. So, anyway. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know what I'm saying? That's, so, that's what I'm going to eat. I'm going to get this hot coffee going real quick. And, uh, oh, I'm going to put a little bit of syrup. Let me show you the syrup right quick. So, this is, can y'all see that? Probably not really, huh? There you go. This is, who is that? Shady Maple Farms. But it's grade A. Uh-oh. It's grade A maple syrup, all right? So it doesn't have like any preservatives or, or anything like that. So you'll see right there, if you can see right there, the ingredients are certified pure organic maple syrup, right? That's what that is. You can see that, bam, bam. So, um, doesn't have any chemicals or anything like that in it. So whenever you open that, you got to make sure you put it back in the refrigerator. So, um, so it has a, it's got a buttload of sugars in it. So I'm not going to even really <clears throat> use a lot of it. I'm just going to put like a stripe down on my waffles. One stripe. That's about it. That's all you really need because I got plenty of sugar going on with the bananas and pretty uh, plenty of sugar going on with the blueberries. So that's all I really need. You know what I'm saying? You don't need a whole bunch. So you can pretty much eat your regular stuff. This is something that I regularly eat when you're doing intermittent fasting. So it's not, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't have to, you're not going on a diet. So, and a lot of people think, um, you know, it's a diet when it's not. It's, it's not a diet at all. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, there we go. So, that's it. It's not a diet. Only thing you're doing is you're just changing your window of eating. Right? That's all it takes. 
and you will lose weight. So if you listen, if you need to lose weight, right? And it's a medical, it's a medical necessity for you to lose weight. All right. I would recommend doing intermittent fasting. All right. Because it'll help you. It'll, it'll just help you change your overall um, eating lifestyle. You know, what is that? Oh, you'll you know, it'll help you change your lifestyle. Right. You know, you eating in a four, six or eight hour window. It's going to change some things, you know, just like doing that mile, you know, mile once a day. It's going to make you accountable. You know what I'm saying? It's going to make you, um, you know, hold yourself accountable to do get your mile in once a day. So, no, it might not be a lot. You know what I'm saying? You might not be running miles and all that good stuff. But, you know, you can that'll get you closer um, to losing a pound a day, you know, than you not doing anything at all. So um, that's it, man. You know. That's going to be my first meal today. It might be my only meal today. It just depends on how I feel. So, um, with the coffee, I don't put anything. I'm If I'm out and I have coffee, I might get cream or something like that. But usually, I just stick with my five uh, drops of honey. But because I already got syrup and other sugars going on, I'm going to skip the honey. So, it's just going to be black coffee. Um, and that's it. Questions, comments dsd with us at gmail.com do something different baby dsd t-shirts are available yeah <laughs> so um like i said subscribe to this channel like my videos share my videos and all that good stuff okay i can't promise you a lot and i won't i won't promise you a lot but i can guarantee you if you don't do something different, nothing will ever change. Y'all take it easy and try not to do too much. Peace. <laughs>